Okay, back to the normal craziness in New York, which is also known as Times Square. <laughs> Several years ago, in Surreal City, I did an article, an editorial, on how effective are protests in the modern world anymore. And probably about a half hour ago, approximately 45 minutes, walking up Lafayette, I think, to Union Square, uh, heading back to the Port Authority, head back to Allentown. And I literally walked, I saw, left Rockwell Music Hall, coming back up, decided to cut over from Bowery. I literally saw a line of New York police vehicles. Okay, what's going on? Is there an attack? Some major happened, what's going on? I love this city, what can I say? I don't care about what happens to it. Um, but anyway, so, all of a sudden I hear, start hearing chants. At the time, I already got double time, went double time for a while. I caught up to it. Literally walked right into a pro-Palestinian protest. But in addition to the original editorial, I'm gonna add something on to it. Walking up to catch up, walking even, walking along the protest route, I was, the amount of people that were just blowing right by it and not even paying attention was fucking amazed me. The amount of people, I mean, this is Halloween weekend to begin with, so probably the worst time for multiple reasons to have a do a protest. But anyway, October 28, 2023. So the amount of people I saw just blowing right by it, didn't even look, didn't even, you could tell they weren't even thinking about it, didn't even give a shit. The only reason why I stopped was I wanted you to have this first hand from myself, all right? It's part of the responsibility of being a member of the media. So I stopped, did a video, and the, amount, and the amount of people, here's the other thing that blew my mind, the amount of people walking in that rally and protest that had this look on their face like, okay, I could be doing a hundred other things tonight. Um, I'm here for whatever the reason, but I really don't believe in, you know, I really don't believe in my own life to worry about. Blew my fucking mind. I feel, as a member of the media, a legal U.S. citizen, born and raised in the United States, I fully support everyone's right to a peaceful protest. I, even if I, it goes against the core of who I am and what I believe, I will stand there, I will support you. No shit. Not joking. But the march going up a, a, main, a, a main street in New York, what about the rights of other people? To a lot of people, I mean, it's Saturday night, it's a gorgeous Saturday night, it's still in the 70s for the end of October. But, you know, I saw some adults walk around in costume, and people are just trying to get through their, their everyday lives there in the city, you know, wherever you are. Now they assemble the Union Square, that part I fully agreed with. But walking up, blocking traffic, blocking, you know, they're on the streets so they're really interfere with the pedestrians, but blocking people, you know, having people, forcing people to take other routes and blocking traffic and not even stopping to think, oh shit, here's our light, let's let some traffic through. And also, somebody asked if they got a conversation with me on video, didn't get the guy's name, Think in mind, don't give a shit. There's an on camera debate from God knows what media or blogger or whoever. And I said right on camera, you know, right, my face is on camera, I said, plus, they're tying up New York police, the New York Police Department, which has an entire city to, to worry about. Not just one protest. So how many officers were tied up? because to make sure nothing happened and protect these people. And by the way, I saw somebody taking my photo when I was on camera. Like, I don't smile for him, like, fuck you. Um, you know, I'm, Fire, Fire City Illusion and, my, and myself, another, are do not take sides in this conflict in the slightest. It's not that I don't care. It's not that I don't realize it could happen elsewhere. It's just this one's been going on for thousands of years. 
All right. And I said on camera, I said, what Israel, the Lord know of Israel has done to the Palestinian people is wrong. I said, but the Hamas attack, Hamas is not, does not represent the Palestinian people. It's separate to, at least to me it is. And I, I told him twice, he said, he's like, and he tried to argue with me, kind of about halfway through, I figured, okay, he's pro-Palestine, whatever. I said, but they intentionally, they only went after it. Innocent, unarmed, non-military, non-combatant men, women, and children. And he's like, yeah, but they're they're elected, and they're Democrat, you know, Palestine, Democrat. I'm like, it's like, you're missing my fucking point here. And I, I even mentioned 9-11, I said, I'm not equal. You know, equating it to it, I said, "What happened 9/11? When they when they hit our when they, when they went after, our, they refused to. They were and I said, the Moss are nothing but cowards because that is a pure act of cowardice. Anyway, back to the point. In this country, do you have a right to peacefully protest? We just make goddamn fucking and I don't use that term anymore at all." Make goddamn fucking sure that you don't end up looking like the idiot asshole moron. Because oh shit, what we we have to say is more important than your everyday life, your everyday routine, and your rights. Michael Phoenix, founder staff, Fire City Illusions, predecessor Surreal Vale City. Broadway coming up on Times Square, New York City, we're Fire City Raw from Silverville City, please, above all, and I cannot stress this enough, to your family and friends, please continue to stay safe, wishing you only the best and much success in your lives.